So in my last video, I said that in my next video, I'd be showing you guys what's in this yellow bag. So everything that's in this yellow bag was sent to me from one fan. Okay, so I'm gonna read the letter. Atua, hello. I, I, I hope you can find some use for the items I sent. I did not expect someone, your mom, to be in the States and ready to return so quickly. Anyways, this is a start. Some things I had on hand and some I bought. It was in a box, but it was a big box and my mom had to come back to Costa Rica and she didn't have space for the box, so she took everything out and put it into the bag. So let's get on with the letter. Number one. Just some dumb small plastic containers maybe you can maybe you can use or not. I think these are the plastic containers, but there's like a bunch. There's a bunch of them in the entire bag. Um, that my fan sent me. Thank you for the little plastic containers. I'm sure I can find some use for them. I'm pretty sure this is the survival tin you're talking about. It's a storm and survival kit. So let's look inside. Whistle. Uh, there's some tin foil. Some of these little red strappy things. A candle, um, like a, sh a piece of paper with like some survival, like a little survival guide. Some waterproof paper and a pencil. There's some tea and some sugar and some matches. A mini little knife for survival. A little compass and some bright rope. And this was also in there. It's just, it's some um, first aid stuff for like cleaning your hands or cleaning a cut. There was this yellow tarp, and I think that was everything. And this tin can also be used to boil water. And if you have to survive or something, then you have the tin and everything you need to survive for at least one night or a few nights or to help you find somewhere. So I'm pretty sure that's everything that was in here. If I find anything else that maybe fell out, I will show it to you guys. So that's the survival tin. There was a lot of stuff in this bag. Thank you very much. Black electrical tape. Tons of uses. Thank you. Uh, where are they? Stormproof matches. Here they are. Let's open it. Ugh. Okay, some stormproof matches. Thank you very much. These will definitely be going into my survival bag. And it came with some, I'm pretty sure these are little strikers. Okay, I found the Ziploc bag with a bunch of matches. I'm not sure if all of these are strike anywhere, but these say strike anywhere matches. Thank you very much. In Costa Rica, they do not sell stormproof matches, nor do they sell strike anywhere matches. They only sell like these normal ones, which you have to strike on the box. But thank you very much. I've actually been wanting to get some strike anywhere matches. Thank you for the matches. It's always good to have lots of ways to start fire. Most of the stuff that you've sent me, I don't have, so thank you very much. I actually don't have a sewing kit for my survival kit, and I know that can be very helpful because sometimes if your clothes rip or a tarp or if someone gets a cut or something, sewing kits can come in handy. There's really so much stuff in this bag that I'm having a hard time finding certain things. Okay, I found one of the sewing kits. Has some little scissors, some thread, some needles. Thank you. This is definitely for sure going into my survival bag. And you said there was two sewing kits, so that means there must be another one somewhere. Aha! Here's the other sewing kit. Ooh, I like this one. It's nice and thin. Has a bunch of needles, a bunch of thread. The person who sent me this, you're awesome. Thank you for all these goodies. I'm loving it. Ha! This. I'm guessing it's this thing. There is a zipper bag with, with, with a pencil and a waterproof notebook. That is cool. This stuff is so cool. Thank you so much. I almost feel like it's Christmas. Okay, I found one of the floss, dental floss cards. It's super thin. This is probably going in my survival backpack because it's so thin and lightweight, it takes up like no space at all. So, thank you. There might be more in this bag, but if I, oh, here's another one. Thank you, awesome. I do have pencil sharpeners, but they do come in handy all the time because they can help you light a fire when you have like little sticks and you just like sharpen some and then you get like these nice little kindling. Okay, I found one of them. If there's another one, I'll pull it out when I, if I find it. But yes, pencil sharpener always comes in handy. So far, everything that you've sent me, it's all super useful stuff. It's all super cool. And I really, really appreciate it. On to the next sheet of paper. Where is it? Wait, are you Velcro? Okay, pretty sure this is the self-adhesive. Ooh. Velcro. Okay, so as you may know, I've recently got the G7X. And the G7X, and the G7X has a mic on it, and when it gets really windy, it it sometimes make like this sound. When you're using a DSLR like this one, 
I have a road mic on the top with a wing guard, but with that little mic, I think I'm gonna, with that little camera, I think I'm gonna have to jimmy rig and make myself a little like wing guard. So I'll be making that in one of my later videos and I think this will be a big help. So thumbs up for that. Definitely gonna come in handy. One birthday candles, another birthday candles. Okay, those are all the birthday candles. Thank you for the birthday candles. Those do help out when you're lighting a fire. Okay, here are some mini safety pins. These always come in handy. And some larger safety pins. It's like these little rolls of toilet paper in some like this little like cardboard paper. And it's like one of these is enough for one use. And there's like 10 or 20 of them in here. There's a whole bunch of them. Thank you a lot. It's nice how they're nice and, ugh, they're nice and compact, which is nice. When I make my survival bag, I'd like to have it as light as possible, and I like everything to take up as little space as possible. Okay, so it's a little, it's a spork and a knife. I'm not sure if these are titanium or just normal, but this is when the scissors come into action. Let's open this. Whoa, these, they seem titanium, but that is super cool. A little spork and a little knife, which isn't too sharp, but it's sharp enough that it could help you cut something. They have a little carabiner, and what's really cool is they have all these little tools. Thank you. I love it. I do have a little sir, multi tool that has a mirror, but I don't have like an actual signal mirror. Okay, here's the signal mirror. Let's open this thing up. I'm so excited. You know what's nice about a signal mirror is not only can you use it for like signaling, but also if you're getting a splinter out or something, maybe something on your face or a cut, mirrors come in handy. Whoa. It's a mini little survival mirror for signaling. This is a never ending bag of goodies. So a survival tool card, that sounds cool. It's a survival card, so it's like a card, a metal card with all these different tools and cool functions. So let's cut this open. Just want to open. Whoa, that is so cool. That is so cool. It's a little survival card. It has like a bottle opener, a little knife. It has different little wrench th sort of things. It has a little saw, a little measuring tape. Okay, this is super cool. Thank you a lot. I didn't even know this existed, but now I do, thanks to you. Clip on, it's a, it's a flashlight that looks like it clips on, so I'm thinking it's this. There we go, I found it. It's like a little keychain. That could be cool. You could have it on the outside of your backpack or on a keychain survival kit. Little black containers. Oh, I'm guessing they're most likely somewhat waterproof. I wonder if matches fit inside because that'd be really cool because then you can keep matches in a container that I'm pretty sure this is waterproof. I'll have to test it. Thank you for the little black containers. They are pretty cool. I definitely will enjoy these. These, there's a bunch of alcohol prep swabs. Okay, I think I got something confused. I think these ones that I'm just pulling out were actually meant to be in the survival tin, in the survival tin, but I think I got them confused. So I think those go into there and these are the ones that you're talking about because these are a lot bigger. So thank you for these. These always come in handy whenever you're out adventuring or just surviving or something, you get a little cut, you can clean it up as well as just cleaning your hands. And there's just some more stuff inside. I think some of the toilet paper came out of its little wrapper thing on its journey back to Costa Rica. Okay, that's it. I'm sorry I did not get your sister anything this time, but I will figure out what she likes for the next time. I hope you get some fun and use out of this, of the, out of this stuff. For sure, some of this stuff is gonna go straight into my survival kit. Maybe in one of my next videos, I'll show you guys how I use some of this stuff and how I put it into my survival kit. So thank you so, so much. I appreciate it so much. So if you do wanna send me something, it's kinda of hard for me to just tell you guys an address to send stuff to because we don't live in the States, we live in Costa Rica. So when I go to the States, sometimes it's going to California or it might be going to Canada or to Las Vegas. So I don't really want everyone to just send something to one place when I go to a different place. So when I am going to the States and I'm going to a place where you can send stuff, I'll let you guys know. Okay, it's starting to get dark. Hope you guys enjoyed this little unboxing of a bunch of really fun goodies. I can't wait to start playing with all of these fun stuff. And I'll see you guys next time for survival for emergencies.